Hey guys, this is Jamie. Welcome back to Seven Stands Farm. Today on the farm, we're going to take you through the daily turkey, take you through the daily turkey chores. That's hard to say. I said turkey tours. Take you through the daily turkey chores. Take you over and let you see the girls that are about to farrow. We haven't looked at them in a little bit. And uh, do just a few other normal things on the farm. It's a Sunday afternoon and weekends is when we get a lot of stuff done. So, so hang out and enjoy. First thing we're gonna do is just turn off the fence so we can get in and work on them a little bit. Uh, if you hadn't seen the video about setting up the electro netting to keep the brooder safe, you might wanna go watch that. It works out pretty well. So as you can see, they're really growing. They're just over two weeks old. And man, they're starting to fill out quickly. And you can tell they're really eating a lot of food and making a lot of poo as well. So we need to straighten up their, um, so we need to straighten up their brooder. One thing you have to watch out for now is they like to fly out of the brooder. So let's, set their food out and let's set the water out. It really doesn't take but about two or three days for this now to mat up really good. So I like to rake it up and today we're actually gonna add some more, um, add some more bedding, some more carbon. Got my nice little fork here that works out really good. Can't leave this lid up long or they'll fly out. And you have to be careful because they all like to pile up in the corners. I just feel like when you kind of rake it all up and stir it all up, it helps settle the litter and the old feed and everything. So that's kind of why we're doing that. I do it every two or three days, especially when it gets really, really crusted on top. And where the water is at, it never fails, it gets wet. So I try to move some of the wet litter under where the brooder lights will be on at night and it helps it cool off and calm down. So. need to add an entire bale because it just continues to get deeper and deeper in the brooder. But we do want to add enough to kind of add some new carbon to it. Help keep the smell down. Make the chicks, uh, or I said chicks, but make the turkeys a little healthier. The lights are getting really close now. The uh, shavings and the manure and everything's built up to almost the lights. So I'm gonna actually raise the light up and put it higher, but still be able to use it. We'll do that with both of them. All right, so we've added a new layer of bed and that looks good. Let's uh, take a minute and get the new water and uh, feeders set up and put back in here on the new bed. So we're gonna close the lid while we're getting water and food because if we don't, they'll be out in the yard for sure. They've got to where they can fly up and land on the edge. <clears throat>
Okay, so I noticed that the turkeys are really getting the water uh, a lot of shavings and really dirty, so I'm gonna add this little stepping stone in here that I have to help with that. feeder back in. And I'm setting it up on top of a bucket lid. And then we'll fill it up. So, we filled up our feeder. One thing I will say I've noticed as the turkeys eat down the feed and it gets really low by the afternoon, the uh, you end up with one or two turkeys down inside of this feeder and maybe another one, the third one sitting on top. So they're not really smart. They get stuck down in there. So keep your feeders as full as you can or maybe find something with a lid on it. I haven't found one yet. But I wouldn't be surprised to come in some afternoon from work and find one that might have suffocated down low with another one sitting on top of it in the feeder. I don't know, they're just not smart, smart birds. But anyhow, got everything ready. New water, new shavings. Turkeys should be happy. So that's number one, do that twice. And of course it doesn't take that long when you're not filming, so it's really a quick chore. So guys, it's been a few days since you've seen the mamas that I AI'd. One of them's actually due to Pharaoh in like five days from now. So let's just go take a look at them and I'll get you another look at the newer uh, Berkshire sow that we did a trade for. If you've been watching her channel, we thought she was gone and uh, I can leave you a tag up in the video to watch that. but. She's actually got used to coming down now and uh, coming to feed, so we're happy about that. And you'll see our boar as well that's in with the three girls. So let's take a little bit and just look at them and just kind of give you a follow-up on them. Hey, girls. Oh, so we got a new one in the movies today this is caroline my granddaughter this is one of the reasons that we farm, to provide her with good food and to teach her lessons about taking care of animals and... A lamb? Yeah, pigs. Can you say pig? Pig? Yeah. So this is Barbie. She's our first AI. She was successful on the first try. Uh, if you look at her to the side, 
her belly's hanging really low. Yeah, pig. So she's the one that's about five or seven days away from farrowing. And so we're going to pasture farrow. She'll farrow in here. Uh, then we've got Rudolph over here. Rudolph is mid the first or second week in October. So she didn't take the first time that we did AI. So she's about one cycle behind. So we'll have piglets in five days, piglets in about three weeks to four weeks. And then this girl here is due uh, December 5th. This is the one we thought we lost within about 24 hours of having her. She, uh, she's still not super friendly, but she's, gonna, she's a full-blooded Berkshire. She's nice and long. So we're excited to have those Berkshire piglets uh, here. Barbie was AI'd with Berkshire semen, so she'll be a uh, Hampshire, Yorkshire, Berkshire cross. Her mom was a two-way cross. And then Rudolph here was AI'd with Duroc semen. So she'll be Hampshire, Yorkshire with a Duroc cross as well. what you see? You hear the airplane? Yeah. So I just wanted to bring you out, show you Miss Caroline here. Yeah. Plane. Show you the pigs, give you a little update on the farm. Just kind of yeah. let you see everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope you raise your family on a small homestead or farm because it really is worth it. Y'all have a great day and we'll do it all again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't want to touch the pigs. Mm -hmm.